hello and good evening everyone welcome to my another public live stream which means you can come and make comments dear viewers welcome as you can see public which means that you can come and comment so today we are going to talk with the british hello teacher james who is from england he'll be joining us in no time okay so once again dear viewers it's really my pleasure to make the live stream at the moment okay so um once again guys uh, as a matter of fact teacher james is one of the amazing teachers who joined at the beginning of this app which was march 2020 when hello started is audio and video calling through the app and during those days we could bring only two people at the beginning then four and in one case 12 and if you know that the history then i'm sure that you know a lot of things okay so welcome Uh, Katan says, Mr. Ali, English is not your native. No, you're right. It's my second language. So welcome everyone here and thanks for the support. Okay. So, dear viewers, uh, it's really a, my amazing matter to get many Hello Teachers on my live stream as guest speaker who comes here, explain their teaching strategies, their history, their education, their experience. And Teacher James is one of them. And I'm sure you may have seen him in different live streams. And today I'm glad that he's going to join me soon maybe in the next um, couple of minutes i just messaged him and waiting for his response because he messaged me earlier okay so he's coming i reckon okay um Mateb, welcome and welcome all the lovely people who have joined silently and watching from the different parts of the world once again my local time is 9 16 pm gmt which is the uk time and you're watching live stream from my home very often you may be aware that i make live streams from london oxford and cambridge when you i go out to show you around the British culture, history, and heritage. And amazingly, and many things are, you know, really observable through my live streams. And many a times, many learners, many viewers say that, oh, they never saw this before, except the movies or YouTube, but this is the first time they are watching through my live stream. Okay so once again guys uh today we're going to get special guest uh who is a british hello teacher james who's coming in no time and once again guys i'm very happy to get here at this moment and i've got a youtube channel i'll be happy and grateful if you please do subscribe to me to support me his name is english waiter rahat ali okay to answer your questions, Ketan, I was born in Bangladesh, so Bengal is my first language of mother tongue. English is my second language. Oh, Teacher James is here. Thank you very much, Teacher James. Send me a request, hop on request. You have to click on the hop on button. 
so that I can add you. Okay. All right, teacher James is joining, guys. Hello, teacher James. Hi. Uh, let's see if are we on now. Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see everyone of you again. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, You're very I welcome. Of, of me on it looks a bit like tatty i think picture of me maybe next time i have a better looking picture of me maybe uh that's okay teacher james as you know that is just only for the advertisement so that people know that you are here on my live yeah. stream okay uh welcome <laughs> not aya Sharmin, mohammed so darius would like to welcome uh, as my guest speaker teacher james He's a white British teacher, as you can see, but I migrated to England 18 years ago, teacher James. I'm a migrated British citizen, whereas teacher James, an authentic citizen. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's great. That's great. I mean, some guys are saying here that my, the English is, is uh, spot on, and that's, that's a good phrase. Like a lot of people don't understand what, what this um, phrase means, spot on, but if if you say spot on it's like this perfect it's like saying it's like saying um you hit the nail you hit the nail on the head that's right yeah uh, Charmin has a question teacher james should studying oh, yeah. can you please answer this question hi Charmin. hi that nice to see your comment and yeah your question should studying a second language be compulsory um mm, mm, it's up to you but it's not compulsory you don't need to um, now, teacher james hard question is is it grammatically correct or not that sentence uh, i was <laughs> okay all right okay let me just check your grammar then not actually the question so should i studying a second um yeah that's that's correct yeah 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 the grammar is is correct there yeah yeah <laughs> I thought, I thought you should ask me that that, that question <laughs> okay and thank you very much for the answer okay teacher james for your information this live broadcast has been shared through my facebook live as well as through my youtube channel so oh, fantastic. so it can be watched later if you are connected to me in the facebook or if you have time maybe you can watch my uh, yeah. youtube channel later do you use, um, do you use restream to uh, that's right as you yeah. might be aware restream is the platform through which we can share our you know live streams with other platforms okay so teacher yeah. james before we go for any discussion how much time have you got for us tonight oh, about an hour or so it's oh fine. that would be amazing an hour is more than enough so once again teacher james would you like to tell our viewers uh, how long have you been teaching and before that from which part of england are you from and maybe a little bit yeah. about your education training and i know that you start, taught abroad yeah well i've been a teacher a long time and i've been um, traveling most of my life and i've got my CELTA already and i've already got my my t4 test or qualifications and yeah i teach english online and i have also traveled quite a lot around asia and around the world it's some nice beautiful countries and yeah i i love to travel and teach at the same time and uh, yeah it's one of the my passions and yeah okay okay Sharmin has asked the sentence we do not use gerund after should so is studying it should be rather than should is studying compulsory yeah well. yeah that's right so it, it is um, it's studying compulsory yeah that's yes. okay. that's okay yeah because it says the ing yeah yeah you're right Okay. I have lots of um, lots of videos about this actually about uh, how to use ing all these different expressions. I I uh, have a lot of you know um, lessons on my Instagram. So if anyone wants to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram. That's right. If you yeah. just share with Instagram and yeah. YouTube channel. Um, this is my Instagram channel, guys. If anyone would like to follow me, you can see my Instagram page and see all my videos and have a look, check them out, and you can learn some 
new things okay so javier this is teacher james instagram account if you'd like to connect to him please uh, go to instagram and just follow him and there are many lessons i see that very often you upload lessons freely for those students mm, 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 absolutely yeah okay so teacher james which part of england you were born yeah i um i was actually brought up from in nottingham mm. Mm, it's it's like um, in scotland it, yeah it's, it's about an hour away from uh london or, or something but i am um, live in leicestershire but i i was um raised from nottingham yeah and and actually a nottingham uh, really famous if anyone has heard that place before big city quite modern um famous for robin hood like <laughs> yeah okay that's great and um, you studied your primary and secondary school in nottingham or leicester sir yeah i studied in uh in, in leicester actually um did a salto qualification there about 10 about uh, seven years six years ago i think quite a long time back mm -hmm. yeah thank you for your smiley face charming very nice to see that <laughs> and some other people saying hi Mohammed, nice to see you as well okay some people are saying hello to you teacher james okay so teacher james you said that you have been traveling a lot for the last how many years i don't know <laughs> did you mention yeah, yeah about three or about six years or something i've just been well and before the whole covid started i was traveling a lot um i, I went to singapore i went to china Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, um, but I've not been to Philippines. So if, if anyone is like from there, you just shout me out and I would love to visit. Um, I've not been Philippines, not been to uh, Indonesia, but I've been to Taiwan and a lot of Asian countries and Mexico as well, okay. Italy. So we, in English, we say, I've got the travel bug. So if you are like a strong, heavy traveler, you can say you've got the travel bug or you've got itchy feet. You've got mm. itchy feet. It's an idiom. So guys, you can learn that phrase. Hi, Naima. Uh, one moment, teacher uh, James, if you can mm. keep continue reading the comments, I'm sending an urgent message. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. So, hi, everyone. Hi, Naima. How was your day? Um, oh, very nice. Ah, uh, is there any more questions? Yeah, if you've got any questions, just shout them out and we'll happily answer them. Okay. Um, so, uh, welcome, Naima, Zuleika, not Aya, Sharmin. So, uh, not Aya has a question. What is the yeah. accent that you're speaking right, now? Right, right. The accent um, I, I have is neutral. It's like East Midlands and it's like not the Queen, but it's very like smooth and, you know, it's not strong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any chance of you pinning my Instagram? Uh, sure, uh, sure. Right. All right, it's going up. I'm pinning it. So, guys and dear viewers, uh, that is the. Uh, hang on a second. I'm going to pin teachers um, James uh, Instagram mm -hmm. account, mm -hmm. and also if you haven't followed him, please follow him for the upcoming live streams, live classes, and lessons. And we're going to talk mm -hmm. about those lessons a bit later. I, I'm just trying to find more information about the teaching, the country you visited. Okay. Mm, yeah, like I've been to a lot of different countries, and I've. I've got some experience traveling and I can teach you some good vocabulary about traveling. So if that's what you're interested in, just tell me and I will. Sure. Today you're going to give us some demonstration, some of the words. <laughs> okay. Really? All right. So um, so those countries you visited only for teaching purpose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just for, for teaching and also traveling uh, at the same time a little bit. I mean, I've, I've been everywhere. Um, and uh yeah it's, it's like traveling is something very important because you can do what you want go where you want and you can like um, learn as well so mm -hmm. it's a learning experience okay not uh, and all the people who are listening to us to clarify in the united kingdom there are more than 30 different kinds of accents our uh, teacher james has got east midlands accents okay 
exactly exactly okay and rp accent is also called sometimes queen's accent or the baby's english or the accent of oxford university right teacher james yes absolutely uh, yeah. if you can give us a demonstration about one of the rp sentences you know or maybe a couple of sentences yeah i mean rp is like received pronunciation so you know if, if you are talking in a very posh way elegant way you know it's it's like it sounds really crisp and really fluent so if you listen to the queen and how she speaks it's like she um that's how her as basic rp really really crisp and really like fluent and accurate um mm -hmm. you know, accent so yeah could you please give us a demonstration with one or two sentences? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's have a go. Okay. <clears throat> Hello there. Well, my name is James, and I have received pronunciation. Do you understand this accent? <laughs> okay. So it's, it, it's like that. Really, really clear, but really, really, really fluent. Like really concise. So it's yeah but i don't speak that posh but i speak in a way that's um like um able to be understood all right yeah. uh, we've got another uh, guest speaker dr mays a canadian doctor who joined uh here on this app recently dr mays welcome after welcome victoria welcome uh parvis welcome and all the people who are watching silently but not making any comments uh so teacher james uh if i'm not mistaken bbc wall service always uses this rp accent right yeah 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 absolutely and um if anyone wants to learn rp i should definitely recommend them to check out you know um british um english and um, pronunciation you know that's really really important like they have their own website and if you want to check it out bbc learning english they have some really good pronunciation um, exercises to learn that's right and honestly teacher james when i try to teach in the morning i always share you know the bbc six minutes english oh yeah bbc yes six minute english yeah yeah that's that's really useful for anybody um, and everybody who wants to uh, learn pronunciation yeah sure okay and also teacher james if you remember in old british movies they use posh accent as well uh, <laughs> i'm trying to imitate one of the you know dialogues like this your highness this person must be taken to the london dungeon as a punishment for treachery yeah yeah exactly exactly that's exactly <laughs> of rp really like posh <laughs> and if anyone doesn't know what posh means it's like really elegant and really you know um well spoken and eloquent which is a nice word if anyone wants to learn this word we can write it in the chat um hello Please write it, teacher James. And Hello. by the dear best, one second, I have pinpointed the teacher uh, James Instagram account. Please follow him to learn free lessons. And also, if you haven't followed him yet on this app, please follow him, support him. As a teacher, we all need your support. Without your support, and actually, we are nothing. If the students are not there, what the teachers are going to do? <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Mesh. Welcome. There's another Canadian doctor, Dr. Mesh is here, the Indominus. Okay. I ask people to actually um, um, use that, that word in a sentence. They can practice it with us. They can. So guys, if you're listening, if you can hear us, just uh, make a sentence with, with that eloquent. Eloquent means like someone is, is well-spoken, you know? So you can make a little sentence. Okay, so it's an adjective, by the way, dear viewers. Yeah, yeah. yeah like exactly. like teacher james has given us an eloquent example of eloquent <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly so like we can say you know that the queen speaks in a very eloquent way you know okay that's great now uh teacher james um so you finished your overseas all this contract then you came back to the uk right yeah 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 I, when, I, when did you come back here Oh, I've, um, well, I, um, I, I didn't, well, it's not that I was there for a long time. I just go on and off. I travel there, then I come back. I travel there, then I come back. So it's like I was there for six months, then I came back to England and 
stayed here for quite a few years. But I um, I love traveling actually. Uh, but when I can travel, I am a big traveler. I don't just travel to a nearby country. I go like all the way to the other side of the world, like you know, to um, different countries. So uh, yeah, and I wanted to learn some expressions to do with traveling, itchy feet and travel bug, which means you really, you have a desire to go traveling. So let me write this one down then. So if anyone can see uh, travel bug, yes. Or you can say uh, itchy feet. Both mean you have the desire to go traveling. OK. I have a travel bug, too. So up, uh, yeah, how many yeah. countries have you visited up to now, Teacher James? Uh, maybe it's been um, oh, uh, 20 something. OK. Among 15. all the visits, which country you liked most and why? Um, I think I preferred, um, hmm, difficult one to say. I enjoyed Singapore because it's modern and, you know, um, very, um, yeah, a bit, bit expensive, but the buildings and the skyscrapers were very nice. Um, I guess Singapore, maybe. And also to China, I'm very keen on China. I've been there like five times. But yeah, that's not to say that I don't like any other country. I, I like them all the same, but um, but yeah, the ones I've been there mo the most is China and and um, Singapore. And I've been to Vietnam, uh, my favorite, well, one of my favorites. I've not been to Bangladesh, actually. Charmin, no. Charmin, I've been to Bangladesh. Uh, honestly, I was born there, teacher James and all the people. People who are new, they might not know. I was, I was born in Bangladesh. And my first degrees were from there, from the University of Dhaka, teacher James. Oh. Uh, I've got a post graduation in clinical pharmacy from the University of Dhaka, okay? All right, wow. let's move on. There is another question for after we saying, teacher James, have you been to Afghanistan? Oh, uh, I've, I've not been to Afghanistan, never ever been there, no. Okay, now two questions here related. When you travel, to different countries, obviously, you had you had to take their their food, exotic food, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah. So, what is your impression about taking exotic food, which you never tasted before, maybe you ordered for the first time? Yeah. Yeah, like if you have that for the first time, it's like you eat it, and it's like, whoa, so beautiful. Like the taste is so different to what you're used to, and when you eat it for the first time, it's you have this like feeling of like, um, it's new and that you're not expecting it. Wow, yeah. But I, I love to eat new food for the first time, depending on what it is and if it's not gonna like give me uh, any poison or anything. <laughs> okay, um, uh, the Indominus has made a very good comment. Very pathetic person. Uh, ah, <laughs> very, uh, very uh, standard vocab, uh, teacher James. So very pathetic I've never heard of that word before, believe it or not. It's not a word I will use or teach because it, it, you know, maybe it's very advanced. It's a word that I wouldn't use. It's, it's, it's not a conversational phrase. It's not one that I would. Okay. It's an, another adjective. It means traveling around to different places, usually because you work more than one place. Wow. That's a very good word. One one phrase I would teach actually is this globe trotter globe trotter globe trotter it's an excellent okay. expression which is someone who jumps around different countries uh, very easily and quickly you know okay Charmin has a question for you how is the Chinese food oh wow Chinese food is excellent it's it's nice and it's it's quite quite spicy depending on on where you go that's the thing. You said um, that you have been to Vietnam, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. How's the Vietnamese food? Oh, Vietnam food was very nice. Oh, I had some um, oh, some, some noodles uh, that they, they call it pho in Vietnam. Uh, pho, like P-H-U-E, pho. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Is she uh, is also a teacher or, 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 or I'm not sure if it's also a teacher? Like, it's teacher. just an account's name, Teacher James. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So welcome everyone once uh, to our live stream today. We are having conversation with the British. Hello, teacher James. 
who has got you know multinational experience and he's sharing some of his experience and also he's sharing his very good at vocabs and also please subscribe to his lesson one to one and follow him if you haven't done it yet yeah sure i mean i've got some uh, some open timetable so if anyone wants to book a lesson you can book a lesson with me on hello app just go to my um, profile you can just choose a time and just book all right and what what what, what we do if, if anyone is listening if anyone wants to know what we do in a lesson we would actually do some conversation through daily topics and i'll teach you good vocabulary you can use to express yourself better and um you know start to understand the british native um, modern english that we all use and yeah we go through some pronunciation as well but mainly speaking vocabulary and conversation and i'll correct all your mistakes so if you want if you're interested just go and book a lesson i would love to see you in the class thank you very much teacher james there is another question from teacher the account um what is an example of a very thick southern accent ah what's an example of a very thick southern accent well actually um yes um well i can't do the example but i can tell you it's from like scotland or ireland or from liverpool is a very like um strong accent okay thick is a wrong word you mean strong not thick that's An right. accent can't really be thick it can be strong but they're not thick so liverpoolian accent is also called scouse right yes scar scours yeah 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 something like that yeah, yeah it's like very um strong and very hard to understand and they speak very fast okay so uh, teacher james uh, let me share an experience i've been to holiday in blackpool and liverpool oh, wow. <laughs> so on the early morning when we are walking and this guy was saying to his friend hey mate you just took my money this morning i couldn't find the wallet no <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> this is the yeah. way they're talking you know i know I, I know that one yeah yeah that's like they speak very fast but it's like the accent you can tell they're from liverpool they and, have that particular accent and also teacher james all the vowel r sound becomes o like money they said money cup coop yeah absolutely yeah absolutely definitely <sighs> okay so teacher james as we go through so you joined hello i'm sure you are one of the amazing teachers i think was it march 2020 you joined here yeah a few years ago yeah and then i recently joined again last year i think it was in yeah march. Because, because you went to abroad for teaching then you came back and you rejoined we know that yeah 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 okay. yeah so uh, how many classes are you conducting at the moment on hello well i i have just set my new schedule so i'm then waiting for new students to come and book lessons with me so if you are free available and if you want to learn some british modern um you know slangy vocabulary conversational english with me you can book a lesson on my profile i'm very happy to see you Okay, I'm going to show them your profile in a moment. Carry on talking. I'm going to the yeah, another page. Yeah, sure. Some of the people ask me some questions. Um, TV series. Oh, yeah, they do mock some TV series. Like, if you okay, uh, if you are interested in in um, you know um, British English, I definitely recommend you to watch a movie called King's Speech or a yeah. King's Man. That's right. I watched both of them. All the British famous movies I've watched, <laughs> Teacher James. Oh, good, really? Including Peaky Blinders, all the series, that. Peaky Blinders and all British posh accents movies. Like like recent movies like, uh, what's the name? Mr. Bean's movies. Oh, uh, yeah. English. Mr. English. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. Incredible. I mean, The King's Man is, is really, really good um i've not seen the the new one but like i really want to see it look it sounds amazing so dear viewers, this is teacher james account if you like to go to his account well how can you go you know there are two ways if you're watching from the mobile you can go from the discover page or the teachers column if you're watching from the way it's the same then you find teacher james and you click the follow button you'll get all the notification when he goes live broadcast okay 
and also as teacher james has said he has got lots of one 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 live stream which is like a private live stream and his charges are 15 dollars for every half an hour but for the monthly live stream is 10 us dollar through which you will get eight one hourly lessons every month right teacher james yes absolutely okay. all right um the teacher has got lots of questions those are mostly hypothetical and conditionals you know yeah yeah a lot of questions from, from teacher um well my question is why did you set your name as teacher <laughs> you should be students not teacher exactly uh, anyway um, um so what do your what do americans right uh, first question is what do americans think of british accents well um americans think that well actually american people think it's hard to understand british people and um, british people think it's hard to understand american people you know so there's two ways of seeing it okay so i think it's hard to understand each other i mean uh, american they have a bit of an accent it's quite difficult to understand them uh next question is if uh, americans originated from britain how did they lose their british accents oh i have no idea about that uh, but if they I like to add something with your comment, teaser James. Actually, we don't know what Americans think because we are not Americans. Yeah, well, we can guess kind of. <laughs> we can guess what they think. You know, we can guess because I've I've met some American people and it's been very hard for me to understand them. And it's like I don't understand, you know, and it's hard to follow some words, and, and especially when they speak very fast. <sighs> okay so uh that's really cool you joined I in march love british accents uh what is the hierarchy of british accents are some accents considered classier than others what's the origin of this again i i don't know exactly uh why does millie bobby brown have a british accent oh you know honestly teacher james some movie actors are trained to have different kinds of accents for examples hey welcome mohammed welcome Charmaine, and all the people who have joined after again dr mas the indominus and dr Mays and all the people thank you very much for the comments so honestly speaking you know the movie the james bond movies all the actors are james basically bond. from england great britain except one of them who is from australia but as you know pierce brosnan he was a james bond movie actor but he lives now in hollywood he doesn't speak now any British English. He speaks mm. definitely, uh, you know, American accent, American English. Then, you know, another movie actress, Gillian Anderson, who is from Scotland, in the X Files, the series, the famous movie or serial, mm. uh, she has got also uh, American accent. She doesn't speak in Scottish accent. Ah, okay, very interesting, very very uh, fascinating. <laughs> that is, yeah, because actor actors are trained to change their tone or accent or pronunciation according to the need of the movie you know and as you have given some examples okay so yeah. welcome again Aftab anglo frisian dialect okay <laughs> dr Indim. by the way the indomain as dr uh, mash is an uh, oet teacher you know teacher james oet stands for occupational english test He's, oh yeah yeah he lives in canada but he's an oet teacher in united arab emirates where he teaches english to the healthcare professionals especially cardiology clinical many other things i, I can't remember all of them wow okay but we have quite some um, questions coming up now. Uh, teacher if you have got more questions i suggest you better subscribe to, to teacher james to find out all the answers okay yeah it, because if you keep asking questions one after another then it will be distracting our conversation okay I suggest you better subscribe to Teacher James as soon as possible. I know that money is not a problem for you. Okay. All right. So, uh, Charmin, the ID name is the Indominus. He's an OET teacher who lives in Canada. Yes, the Indominus. I've noticed that he has got lots of questions. Okay. Yeah. So, so okay. Let's let's um, let's just describe those people who ask constant questions. So uh, a good word to describe people like that are very inquisitive, okay? Inquisitive, inquisitive. 
So someone who is very inquisitive is someone who loves asking questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like one after the other kind of thing. And there is a proverb, Teacher James, possibly you know, curiosity kills the cat. Oh, curiosity kills the <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. So, you're teacher, right. the you account teacher, I, su I suggest please subscribe to Teacher James to know all this answer. He will be yeah. happy to answer you with a private lesson. Definitely, definitely. Book a lesson, guys. You know, it's not expensive. You know, yeah. we all need to make a living. So, book a lesson. It is. Uh, by, it's good, you know. By the way, Teacher James, a new change is, is coming soon. Uh, when oh. you go for a public live stream, sometimes some students can't you know, subscribe to your channel, but they can hop on with their Hello Cash money. For every minute, you, they'll be charged, like say 50 cents or 30 cents or 40 cents, according to your own setup of uh, rating, okay? Oh, so, I see. So is that out now? Or can no, out? it is coming soon, very soon, you know? Oh, okay, when? Uh, I believe that is after the next week, possibly, or maybe this week. I'm not sure. I just heard it from our, you know, uh, meeting that there are some changes coming, and also people are, you know, that there is Hello and Hello Plus, Teacher James, yeah, for the students and for the teachers as well. Uh, in Hello, you can see the Google Ads because Hello has got contract from Google Ads, so that is a passive income, you know, for the Hello Authority. But if you buy Hello Plus which is $8 for a month, but $48 for a year, you're not going to get any ads at all. And the advantages are for the students, you can save your live stream, you can get your Hello Plus badge, special badge, and also you can bring six people on hop on sections. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. So if if like six people were on hop on, um, would they be charged each or just yeah they each one will be paying you so that is amazing part teacher james yeah, that's good i, I don't know anything about that that's, so that's say cool. there will be bundle like five minutes say five minutes say two dollars ten minutes say five dollars for example so they have to buy some bundle like this when you like to join a teacher buy this bundle five minutes bundle so they will join with the hello cash to you in live session like this the way you have joined me after yeah. five minutes the system will automatically take them off from the you know conversation ah. so that is a passive income for the teacher that will be really great uh, some more people have joined in the meantime welcome Sulab mm. uh, Charmaine again Rose uh, I wonder, why do you want to leave hello I don't know why Charmaine is saying time to leave hello you don't need to leave hello okay um, mm. Charmaine, it is, you don't have to leave hello. This normal live streams would be there. It is for the people who like to talk to the teacher, who like to hop on, like a class or lesson. Okay. Possibly she didn't realize the concept. Uh, after says, do you have meeting every day? No, I don't have meeting every day. I have classes every day. If you go to my profile or teacher James profile, you'll be able to see it will reflect your local time. Okay, our times are British time because teacher uh, James live in Midlands, I live in Essex County, so mm -hmm. we have got the same time zone. So our local time is 9.51 p.m., which is the GMT or Greenwich Mean Time, standard GMT. Okay, hello, Ellen, welcome. So okay. um, the adverts, some guys are saying they are a bit disturbed by some adverts, which do they show up on their live streams or, or not? That's right. When they're uh, you know conducting the live stream through mobile, only that time it shows. But if it is from the web, there is no chance it's coming on the web. Oh, I see. So that's why I suggest you better use the web rather than the mobile to avoid those you know <laughs> adverts. Yeah. yeah. So someone asked me a question: Are you from uh, Birmingham? No, I'm not from Birmingham but I live near to Birmingham. It's not far from me. Uh, it's not far at all. But, and actually they have a strong accent in Birmingham. Um, very strong accent. Yeah. Uh, so Indominus is the person who is the, you know, a Canadian teacher, a doctor, 
and OET teacher in United Arab Emirates. He's asking, I think you said you are from Midlands, East Midlands. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay. So Alan has a question for you. Which side do you live? Of East Midlands, where about? Okay, I'm not going to like share my exact location, but um, I'll just say I live in the East Midlands area, uh, Leicestershire. Leicestershire, okay, that's an amazing. I have been there once just to meet a client. Okay, um, clever, yeah. welcome. Okay, so uh, teacher James, please share with us some of the amazing experience of teaching when you taught abroad all this like uh, Thai students or Japanese yeah, okay, students. Okay, okay, let me tell you a story. So there was once I went to Thailand. I went to a place called Hat Thai in Thailand. Not sure if anyone knows, but I've been to Thailand like four to five times. It was amazing. I have um, I've taught in a big, big school, well, quite a big school, and I had like fifty students and we had to you know i had to teach them you know health and um i know all the students were pretending to be like sick and uh <laughs> making some noises and i had to be the, the doctor and i was teaching all the students all the language to use if you're asking to be seen asking how you feel you know your health vocabulary so we're having a bit of fun there and, and they really really enjoyed that and um it was very interactive and I think with, with Thai kids they enjoy playing games not so much writing on the board it's very involving and yeah I I loved that it was really um really interesting but yeah thank you very much so um ah oh, someone lives in Yorkshire and lives in Yorkshire cool nice to know that um in England but but yeah don't forget guys uh, there's about 37 people uh, watching this live so um come in uh follow me on instagram you have nothing to lose it's free you can see all my videos all my lessons you can ask me questions when you want come and follow me uh it'll be great to see you and um yeah okay i'm repeating teacher james last statement dear viewers please follow and support teacher james on hello as well as the uh, instagram the pinned comment is the teacher james instagram account Okay, and Clever, thank you very much for your support and for everyone's support. Honestly, without your support, teachers are nothing here. Okay, and these VRs are the heart of your li our live streams. And without the heart, we can't leave you. You see? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, teacher James, there is an advertisement in British television. Yorkshire tea, go for it. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you, yes, Salav. Yes, um, yeah, I know about that one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> there are many, you know, British advertisements are amazing and funny, though. Okay, so would you like to advise some, you know, techniques for learning and developing their English pronunciation and speaking strategy, please, Teacher James. Yeah, well, I would say that anyone who wants to, you know, do that to speak better, to learn more vocabulary, you can just watch little videos and take notes from there and watch how people speak. And then actually, what you could do is um, walk outside and listen to people speaking and make a note of some words and then write them down and then you can use them in your speaking so you can try and do that when you want um lots of different ways you can uh, you know um record your voice watch um british movies learn read this and read the uh, subtitles so you can see what they're saying that's right okay uh, sometimes you know uh, people say that watching british movies will help you learn and develop british accent or pronunciation what's your opinion about it teacher james um what do you mean watching british movies or any youtube videos or any teachers live stream will help them double up their british pronunciation and accent yeah and no yes but you can't just watch any old thing you have to be certain about the video the accent the person is using and you know you have to know that the way they speak is how you want to speak that's right. 
So very often, many of our learners complain that even though they listen to the you know Cambridge Dictionary or Oxford Dictionary or watch the British movies, sometimes they are not able to imitate the word. What could be the possible reason, Teacher James? Well, well, you know, a lot of reasons. Maybe it's difficult to pronounce. Maybe the way they say it isn't quite easy or it's quite difficult. So a lot of people struggle to really speak some words they want to learn from, from uh, for the people. But you take it step by step, really. OK. So if you are to give one advice tonight for our learners to double up their English language, right? what would it be? Well, <laughs> one piece of advice would be never to give up, okay? Because mm. a lot of people do give up, you know, after they have um, seen how difficult something is and they think, oh, I want to stop and I just can't be bothered, you know. But if you have that attitude, you won't improve. But you need to realize that English is like a, um, it's a journey, you know. You start from zero, you get on the train and you keep on going. You don't leave until you reach your level, you know. Thank you very much. That's a great advice, great piece of advice. Okay, um, so how many minutes have you got more, teacher James? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's like 10 o'clock now in England, so maybe like 15, 20 minutes is fine. Okay, me. so dear viewers, if you have got any questions about teacher James, about his classes, lessons, subscription, please write in the comment section. He'll be happy to uh, read and answer it, okay? Uh, teacher James, by the way, do you have any pets at your home, like cats or dogs? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We we do have two little dogs, Chinese dogs. They're Shih Tzus. Um, they're playful, cute. They bark. You know, if you make that, when dogs make that noise, if anyone wants to learn that word, it's called bark. B a r k bark. Mm -hmm. Not not talking. Dogs don't talk. They bark. Um, but yeah, thank you, Sulev. Um, thank you for following me. I know you've liked some of my pictures and videos. Yeah, um, honestly, I, my Instagram is like a is your online uh, classroom full of videos and lessons, and I'll do some more lessons so to, um, tomorrow. You know when I can. And I'd like to share Teacher James one of the recent posts. He made a post about the movie called Kung Fu Panda about past, present, and future. Teacher James, would you like to share the, that that quotation from the movie Kung Fu Panda? Which quotation was that? Uh, yesterday is mystery. Ah, yesterday is mystery. Tomorrow is history. I'm sorry, yesterday is uh, history. Tomorrow is mystery. To oh, Today yeah. is the gift. That's why we call it mystery. present. Ah, uh, yesterday was history and tomorrow is mystery. And today uh, is gift, that's why we call it present. Ah, uh, yeah, today is gift and we call it present. Yeah, that, that's a very lovely sentence. I understand that now. It, it's great to have that. Yeah, it, it's good. So what it means that we learn from our past and we just deal with the present to make our future better, okay? Exactly, exactly. You learn from your mistakes and you improve yourself to become a better version of yourself. Okay. Uh, Teacher Jim, that word bark reminds me of uh, another phrase, barking dogs seldom bite. Yeah, barking, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, bark, you know, also bark, that has a, got another meaning. It's it's like the 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 skin of a tree that's called bark. The the wood on the on, on the tree that's called bark. That's right. Bark. bark. Okay. So Davis, once again we're having conversation with the British Hello teacher James, who is from Midlands. And he has got a wide range of teaching experience. If you haven't followed him, please follow him, support him, join him in his Instagram account, which has been pinned at the top of my live stream. And if you've got any more questions, please write on the commentary section because he had got still 10 more minutes for us. And we are trying to enjoy his presence. And thank you very much, teacher James, for joining me. I know that you're a quite busy person. 
but you have managed but you have managed to join me that's really awesome and amazing i'm much much grateful to you thank you uh for that thank you indominus uh and thank you shaman very kind of you just um send me a message on the dms if you want to ask me any questions ask me don't be shy send me a message whenever you want just follow me and ask me any questions about anything and um yeah okay so um teacher james um do you play any kind of musical instrument like guitar no, keyboard no, ukulele no, do you no. sing no, I don't sing. No, I only sing if I'm a bit drunk. A bit, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been too drunk many times and you started singing? No, not recently, not in the past few days. No, but <laughs> I, I do watch some uh, guy, people with, uh, you know, um, music videos on, online sometimes. Yeah, which one is your favourite? Okay, uh, I like Coldplay. Oh, look at the star. Look at the la la la. Yeah. Yeah, all yellow. Oh, thank you, Musa. Very nice to hear. They like to hear my, my voice. It's very nice of you. Yeah. Okay. Thank Cold, you, guys. Uh, Coldplay. Do you like any other British singer or any other British bands? Um, Actually, I I do. Um, Well, uh, I also like Calvin Harris. He's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like um, Ed Sheeran. He, he's Ed, Ed Sheeran, old. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's fine. My Dancing fate. in the mood. La, 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 yeah, la. yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Don't you uh, like Adele? Yeah, oh, Adele, oh, I've got Adele. Love Adele. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love her. She's, she's, she's so young, really, really young, and she's talented as well. And beautiful voice, worldwide yeah. famous. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Teacher Ahmed, please join. Happy birthday to you, Teacher Ahmed, if you have time. Hi, May, welcome. I'm happy to see all these lovely people. Yeah. Teacher Ahmed, good. please do join for a few minutes. I know there is midnight in uh, Poland, but join us for a few minutes. Teacher James is here. One question. Is um is a restream the platform you use? Is it a paid version? Or it's is it a free version. Okay, I'll the, check that out. When you share, it is saved automatically to your Facebook or YouTube channel, so you don't have to pay. Uh, okay. Oh, you're a bit swamped. Teacher Ahmed is a bit swamped. Oh, wow, nice face. And thank you, Ahmed, for your uh, replying to me on the Slack group. It's very nice to see your message. Sometimes I ask questions if I'm stuck or don't know something I don't ask. But um, yeah, swamped means very busy, very, very busy. Or you can say you have a lot on your plate which means you're very busy as well, mm -hmm. a lot on your plate. You know, it's a idiom, very nice expression we use. Okay, teacher oh, Ahmed, my pleasure, thank you for seven, so okay. Another expression, guys, to be tied up, meaning very busy. Um, and actually, yeah, uh, you know, my, um, my uh, some good news, my birthday is in, in a few weeks. Okay, let us know. Maybe we can celebrate on Halo if you have time, Teacher James. Yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. It's on the 8th of February. Oh, you're Aquarius. Yeah, that's one, Aquarius. Yeah. I'm an Aquarius person, yeah, Aquarius guy. That's great. That's why you always change your shape. Water, ice, steam. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um, they have different moods, I think, like Aquarius. Various. Yeah, they are easily mood swinger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's right, teacher Ahmed. Around the corner, only today's fifteenth, so eighth of February. Not much, not many days. Yeah, it's like a few weeks, isn't it? That's right. Sulab has a question for you, teacher James. Would you like to read All it, right. please? Yeah, sure, Sulab. Hey, so um, can you give students? private lesson and continue with teaching until them right let me just correct you okay so teacher james can you give students private lessons with an s and continue teaching them until their english improves so shall i just like you know send you that um little paragraph back and, and, and correct it Please do that. That will be amazing for Sulab so that she's aware that you, know, you have done for her. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so I'll just put it into a Word document so I can see the whole thing clearly. But some, some little mistakes. So can you give students private lessons and continue with them, okay, until their English improves? That's, I think you meant this, because that one, that sentence before didn't quite make sense. This is what you meant, so that. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. thank you. May is saying, we just had teacher Ahmed's birthday. <laughs> we can't handle another party. It is next month, May. It is not in January anymore. It should be next month, uh, 8th of February. Yeah, well, another party. What was the party about? It was on a, a hello party or something. So students made small video you know, streaming and send it to one of them and they send it to teacher Ahmed and teacher Ahmed showed all the greetings and they donated lots of money for teacher Ahmed. And teacher Ahmed said that, Rahat Ali, don't worry, I'm going to donate you some money from there. So wow. I'm expecting some donation from teacher Ahmed. So wow. I've just spilled the bean now, teacher Ahmed, yeah? Uh, well, hopefully that'll be me off my, my birthday tomorrow. Can give it yes. Or something. Uh, but yeah. Virtual birthday party, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Indem, I say, hope you will get some delicious chocolate cakes. Yes. Um, so, so love, you say, um, I really appreciate it. No, I really appreciate it. So, thanks for correcting me, Teacher James. I really appreciate it. Not appreciated. Okay. Appreciate. So, yes. um, appreciate it. Yeah, it should be in present tense. So, love, you have used past tense. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hi, Damaris. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lots of people are joining now. That's really awesome. It is around uh, 10 past 10 in the UK time. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. So don't forget to follow me, guys. My Instagram is on pinned and you can, um, you know, see all my videos and upcoming lessons and see what I do and learn from my lessons, which are very useful because I teach lots of good vocabulary and I've even got a little vocabulary um, course um, you can learn. But like, if you want to book some lessons, just go ahead and do it in my profile. I'll teach you well. Mm. Okay, Darius, once again, we're having conversation with the British Hello teacher, James, who is from Midlands. If you haven't followed him, please follow him, subscribe to his lesson and join his private lessons as well. And you can also connect to him through Instamatch. If you go to the Instamatch, if you see teacher James photo, blinking like this you can touch on the photo it will collect straight to teacher james but remember that you have to have hello cash <laughs> so that he gets paid you know otherwise you're not going to get connected with him yeah hi dr mays welcome again and all the lovely comments thank you may sulab damaris teacher ahmed <laughs> That's oh, thank you Sulab. very nice to comments I, I like your comments it's very nice of you to say that i am um, i like that little sentence i'll give it a like thank you so much it's very nice of you okay so teacher james have you got any more minutes or yeah just a couple yeah that's fine that, that's fine that's okay fine. so teacher james has got a couple of minutes more if you've got any more questions for him please do ask here on the commenter section he'll be happy to read and respond to you yeah sure sure just like or you know if you get stuck if you got something bothering you or on your mind or if you don't understand some words just you know ask me i'll be very happy to help you with that but i think if you try and book a lesson with me when you can because it's like we can have some one-to-one -one practice english speaking together and also anyone who is taking the ielts exam preparation i am your go-to map for that uh, I do the speaking. I, you know, I can help you a lot with it. I was speaking. If anyone's preparing, um, I'm like your um, how how should I say? I'm like your uh, your mentor. Yeah, I'm like your um, your road to success for I was speaking. Yeah, that's right. Teacher Ahmed is saying the easiest and most affordable way to learn from Teacher James is to sign up for his live class. That's right thank you so much yeah okay so guys once again we are very happy and glad the teacher james has joined after a while uh, actually i couldn't manage time to bring you teacher james i'm quite busy and occupied 
you know yeah, so today yeah. i thought why you message me i thought oh, i'll be free after nine o'clock you know so we start at 9 15 so it's around an hour okay brilliant yeah all right so uh dear viewers once again if you've got any more questions or anything to know about teacher james and uh, you're more than welcome to write in the comment section all right so teacher james i've got a last question for you it's a hypothetical sure. question okay okay yeah uh, do, do you buy lottery like euro millions or jackpot or anything like um that? uh sometimes but it's like mm, i know like the the feeling is like wow yeah i don't have to work ever again but um you know it's like one of those um things you do for fun i guess but not really taking it seriously Okay, there are two questions. Uh, yeah, please read it from May and expensive. Then we are going yeah. to ask you uh, the question. Just briefly about your advanced vocabulary training live class. So yeah, you can do a lesson with me about advanced vocabulary. We can learn different expressions together. That's in my private classes. And yes, you can sign up for a private class. Expensive. Um, it's not expensive. Okay, it, it's affordable, so you can actually um, pay. For that but it's very affordable it's not expensive like your screen name is <laughs> <laughs> okay um, so I'm, I'm sure may have got your answer as well as expensive the id it is not expensive either it's cheap well cheap well we <laughs> cheap affordable because affordable. cheap sounds like a little bit <laughs> like poor, poor quality you know but it, <laughs> no, it, it's good quality but it's affordable okay yeah. So, w w what is the another synonym for cheap, teacher James? Yeah, uh, well, affordable is like you're able to, to um, yeah, uh, affordable, I guess, affordable. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'd say affordable. Reasonable, like you can say. Yeah, yeah, reasonable, affordable. It, it's it's not it's going to cost you an arm and it's not going to break your bank. It's you know, it doesn't cost an arm and leg. It's an idiom to cost an arm and leg, which means very expensive. So it's not actually expensive. It, it won't cost an arm and leg, definitely not. Okay. So by the dear viewers, this live stream has been shared through my Facebook live as well as through my YouTube channel. As you know, public live streams are not saved on the Halo app. If you, uh, you know, uh, do either from your mobile or laptop, but it is saved in my account. If you, anyone wants to see Teacher James' conversation, please visit my YouTube channel or Facebook account. It is uh, English with Rahat Ali, the YouTube, and the mm -hmm. Facebook is same as Rahat M. Ali. I also have um, a Telegram, if anyone wants to follow me on that. I've got like, a group, an English corner group on that, where I teach a lot of free material and vocabulary, and people can just like join and you know learn with me. So yeah, I've got a um, great English corner on Telegram if anyone would like to join. Okay, and uh, yeah. Indomina says there is another word, it's called economical. Yeah, economical, um, it's some, some questions, expensive to Telegram, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of, yes, uh, maybe I can just share my Telegram um, account link here, maybe you can just share that with everyone. Okay, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like I I have a lot of uh, material that I just post out in the group, and like everyone can just see what I'm teaching, and they can see um, and learn very easily. Um, but yeah, okay. Can you also say thriftyful, teacher James? <laughs> thriftyful, thriftyful. Yeah, thriftyful. It's like a, like a, a tongue twister, like <laughs> ah. Gosh. Okay, let me let me teach you a good tongue twister, which you can actually practice saying, okay, because I, I love tongue twisters. They're so good to learn, but also really good practice to speak, you know, because you can improve your your like um your pronunciation from doing these saying these. Okay. So my my favorite one is um she sells seashells by the seashore 
I, I guess you've heard of that one before, haven't you? Right. Yeah. So she sells she seashells by the seashore. Seashells by the seashore. But she sells seashells by the seashore. May I also add by sitting beside the sandy beach in the sunshine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Make it more harder. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but it's like the, the whole point here is we're practicing the sh and the s sound. So she sells seashells by the seashore. So, so two different sounds, but sh and the s. Okay, this essay sound is it voiced or unvoiced? Yeah, actually, actually, it's um, it's a voice and um, unvoiced, so shh and s yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay, the Indominus has written another one pet kid poured cart, pull it cord. Well, I heard of that one before, pulled cord, it called curd, pulled cord, pet kid poured cord, pulled cord. <laughs> Let's say a bit faster. Pad kid pulled could uh, pad kid pulled could pulled cod. I think it's the P sound there, isn't it? P and D as well. Oh, D is there. Pad kid yeah. pulled card pulled card pulled cord. Sorry. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, have we got more times for us? Yeah, a couple of minutes is fine. Oh, a YouTube ch channel as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I have got a YouTube channel as well, actually. You can um, follow that. I'll send that a bit later, maybe. Um, OK, uh, let me welcome quickly some of the people who have uh, joined. It says, um, I tried to book a private group, private and group class, but only private class is available on the screen. So is it true? Is it correct? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you just book a private class would be better, I think. Just try to do that. And if you want to ask me how, just come and ask me. Um, I can help you with that. Um, so, love, I think you meant right, not well, because well is an adverb, remember? So, like, well done, or she writes well, I speak well. So, well can be used in different um, uh expressions for example you know there, there's one that is really really common well can actually mean like very it's an adverb but it can mean very so for example i can say you know it's well good you know some teenagers in the uk often say this the film is well good mm -hmm. yeah so well can be used to replace very and you're congratulating someone by saying well done and it can be used when you're saying how good someone does something like he teaches well so there's three different you know meanings and uses of well if uh, you understand how about in the sentence i'm well yeah i'm feeling good that's also okay yeah okay so, oh. Uh, let me welcome some of the people who has joined in the last few minutes. Yeah. Sulav again, Bayan, uh, Indominus is back. Oh, May has written a tongue twister. Would you like to read it, please, Teacher James? Yeah, sure. Where, oh, here we go. Oh, I know this one. I know this very <laughs> famous fact. Okay, a Betty Butter bought a bit of butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it, if I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of but a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, it sounds like bitter butter, better better. <laughs> yeah, it does sound a bit like that. Actually, really, really <laughs> like that one. It's um, quite difficult to say, but it's it's not impossible. Okay. Not impossible. That's right. And thank you very much, May. And I can yeah, see Teacher you. Ahmed's comment. May change the pronoun to he. <laughs> Copy paste it. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Teacher Ahmed. So, guys, once again, if you'd like to book a lesson with Teacher James, just visit his profile and sign up from the 
why did it say sign up one to one or many private lesson or live class so whichever is suitable and comfortable for you absolutely absolutely um just it's completely um free to you know see my instagram profile you can see all my videos and lessons and feel free to also you know book a lesson why not be uh, a great pleasure to, to see you and teach you and help you learn well yeah this is one of the common mistakes they said he speaks good he speaks well exactly yeah. exactly As he speaks friend. good he speaks well but how yeah. about his english is good or his english is well good question his english is good that's correct his english is well that's not correct he speaks well his english is good thank you very much for the clarification teacher james hey, yeah okay so dear bears um, um teacher james may not have more time have you yeah that's fine i think it's uh, time for me to shoot now it's getting a little bit uh right, late okay. i can say goodbye to everyone i think okay thank you very much once again for coming here and also welcome back to hello and i'm sure uh, many people have followed you and please do support our teacher as a teacher we all need your support guys i'll be yeah, well, thank you guys thank you for following me on instagram you can find me um and you can you know um join my telegram group it's free it's a big group and learn some free english materials from me and you can always ask me questions when you want so yeah feel free to join and support and follow right so thank you very much dear yeah yeah absolutely happy new year's everyone i know it's late now 16 days later but <laughs> i hope everyone has a great new year you know that's right but but you know what teacher james you know the orthodox people they celebrate happy new year on the 13th of january yeah they really? do because they uh, go with the previous calendar which is julian calendar and we follow the gregorian calendar oh fantastic that's amazing that's really good great okay uh um, amala amalian says i join already okay thank you very much uh, dr mesh uh, may expensive uh, teacher ahmed sulab and all the people who are watching and thank you very much once again for your support for your kind comments and so teacher james is going to say goodbye to you and after that i'm also going to finish my live stream yeah sure so goodbye everyone and thank you for having me on uh, teacher Bahat. It's very nice to see you no, no problem no problem i you. always like enjoying hello teachers you know uh, coming here and talk to me i really feel amazed and great that's why whenever i see any teacher like teacher ahmed is here i always invite them come on hop on hop on for two minutes couple of minutes you know ah amazing well and um, don't forget my birthday as well on the 8th of february is my big birthday you can have a big celebration on hello big live class or something and i'll definitely do a live stream and everyone can make a cake for me or give sure. me some cake sure all right may you're very welcome and thank you very much once again dear viewers you guys are really amazing and so helpful so supportive and thanks for your love once again okay yeah well thank you so much everyone and very nice to see everyone and uh, any questions come and ask me I'd be really happy to answer them and uh yeah have a great new year and well done for um you know um giving examples today and the new vocabulary but make sure you always write these words down because it's very easy to forget you know so you must make an effort to write things down so you don't forget them and then use them you know use what you learn and never never forget what you learn as well okay that's really pretty cool all right guys so last chance if you have got any more question teacher james is ready to answer it yeah last few seconds and last few seconds before it's time to go to sleep almost uh, yeah. uh, i've got the last question for you teacher james before oh, you yeah. pop up yeah of course uh, i'm sure you have been to london many times right yeah i've been to london many, many so times. which part of london do you like most oh i like um i like piccadilly circus the most because it's very modern and big and you know it's beautiful and it's very um a lot of good location for tourists and to have a look around it's very busy but uh, yeah very very busy a lot of people are there there is a uh, chinatown in piccadilly circus you know yeah that, it's a chinatown oh yeah I, actually i went there uh last last month in december just for a day and there was so many people it was packed literally packed there were so many 
people I couldn't walk or even like move I was squished you know so how about Buckingham Palace I have actually walked past there a few times it's very stunning it's very beautiful yes of course Big Ben um, the Queen yeah definitely yeah, it's one of my London favorite. Eye yeah yeah definitely absolutely I've been there it's awesome um London is very um metropolitan it's very busy business city you know very um you know rich and nice cars and you know a lot of people have like to be elegant and show off there well a little bit but yeah it's good a uh, good place to go and have a look at and travel to and some beautiful restaurants definitely beautiful restaurants how about big ben westminster parliament yeah westminster Par parliament big ben um the L london bridge is very famous as well tower bridge tower bridge yeah london eye is very beautiful as well thank you that's great thank you very much guys and uh, we're going to finish my, our live stream in a moment thanks for joining in all the lovely comments cheerio okay bye guys take care and uh, uh, thank you for the live stream and hope everyone has a lovely new year and stay safe um don't worry about bad things happening like the virus or anything it's, it's actually getting better if you want to visit england or have some trip out to london or to uk it's not actually it's not as bad as you think now things are actually getting better but slowly but i think by by may things should be better you know so if anyone wants to come and tra travel to uk um i think things will be better by may so welcome to england that's right okay um it's my pleasure once again to get you teacher james in my live stream uh, i always enjoy talking to all the other teachers as i said and if in the future if i'm free you can always come back as you know yeah so, uh, okay then. so guys if you haven't uh, followed teacher james again please follow support join his live class and private lessons and you can contact him through the insta match absolutely definitely and on telegram and instagram and you can just send me a message on hello and book a lesson with me whenever you want i would love to see you in class so yeah take care everyone thank you very much teacher james okay ta 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 okay ta ta then take care bye everybody thanks for your time thank you guys okay guys that's the end of our today's live stream thank you once again i'll see you when i see you take care and bye bye guys <laughs>